605 show with your favorite host visa noble one and alana snyder listen this is a very special episode we are here in a very special place one of my favorite places yes. to be where are we at denny sanford premier center and convention bam, 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 but, bam, 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 but bam, we're bam. also kind of in fallsville boom it's going down don't you wish you had one of these you don't have one listen <laughs> but you need to be here to have it we're surrounded by who's or are they, the called, who's are they who? called who's here? The who's who, who? who? of Fallsville. <laughs> right. <laughs> and what building is yours? What's that? Fitness first. I think you know it's not. <laughs> I don't know why you had to say it like that. But <laughs> oh my God. I feel like you're being hurtful. <laughs> We're getting the holiday spirit, though. Yes, we are. Listen, it's going down in a major way. We're here at the Denny Sanford Premier Center um, yes. in our little version of Whoville going down. We have here a lot of holiday themed things going on. Amazing things are happening. We got some great guests today. We're going to talk to here in just a little bit. Yes. But first, we got to start where we always start. We got to talk about some events. events. What's going down oh, look in at the this. streets? Look at the festive pug there. Uh, December fourth through the thirty first, we have Garden Glow, which is at McCrory Gardens in Brookings. It's supposed to be beautiful. Yeah, that's what I hear. It's December thirty first, New Year's Eve in historic Deadwood. Have you ever done that? It's very fun. Uh, no, I haven't. No. You have not. You I can haven't. walk the streets with your booze. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm kind of, a, kind of a Grinch. Oh, you are. You're kind of a Grinch. I'm not the Grinch, but I'm a Grinch. Oh my God! What do you feel something? What are you? What are you talking about? Oh God! What oh is... God! Well, nothing. We'll just keep going. Okay. We All have right. the Holiday Express December fourth and fifth, the eleventh and twelfth, and the eighteenth through the nineteenth, the twenty third and the twenty fourth. Oh yes. For eighteen eighty train in Hill City, I'm actually going this year. Santa Claus gets picked up from the North Pole. I've never been around when 1880 train was actually around. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And you can actually, so you get a present too. And you can actually still bring booze. So that's nice too. Oh, well, I'm in. But here we're going to learn about another holiday. Hanukkah from my best friend growing up, Raleigh Woodworth. Come on down. First of all, let me just point out, okay, young lawyer of the year. Of the year. This young woman is accomplished. For sure. And she's going to drop some jewels on us. We're in the presence of greatness. About Hanukkah. Yeah, we are t- we're talking a lot about Christmas. So we need, to, we need to learn what's going on. Tell us about what's going on for these eight crazy nights. These eight crazy nights, they don't disappoint. <laughs> At least not for my children who are incredibly spoiled. Oh, my gosh. So we are on day two, but night three of Ooh, Hanukkah. Okay. And one of the biggest differences for Jewish traditions is that all of our holidays start at night when the sun goes down. So Mm. when you look at your calendar and you see that today is the first day of Hanukkah, the reality is that Hanukkah started the night before. Oh, interesting. I actually didn't, I didn't know that. Yes, it is. Now, does Hanukkah fall under daylight savings? Or are we eyeballing this thing? Tell me. Well, Hanukkah actually changes every single year. So I it's can't kind keep up with it already. I can't really either. But now you know the trick. So when you see it on your calendar, you can say, actually, it started last night. And people be like, oh, wow, you know everything. There you go. Well, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so in our house, we do both holidays. I'm Jewish, but my husband is Catholic. So my children celebrate all the things. Oh, oh my gosh. Say, they, get a, they get a lot of presents. They do. They Lots. do. And so you have to spread it out. You don't want to do big present after big present. I mean, some people do, but we don't. We build up to the final night of Hanukkah. Uh, That is with the hope that then they're a little bit more appreciative. They're young, so we're trying to teach them to be appreciative. So on the first night of Hanukkah, we do something smaller. Sometimes it can be candy. Sometimes it's oh, a little cool. bit of money. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's just something you found at the dollar store that you know they're going to be entertained by. Do and they get mad when it's not money, though? Yeah. My children do. <laughs> yeah. yes. I was going to say, I can see that. You know, I want cash money. <clears throat> probably just open up a few stereotypes there. We'll just pivot away from oh. <laughs> oh 
Ooh, uh, didn't see that one coming. Step right into that one. Way to go. Sorry about that. But my kids like counting money and playing with it and saving it for something special. Hey, so look at that. They enjoy it. Like, what things could they buy with it? Did you bring some items with you? I did. Now, what Ooh. I brought is what they would get as a gift, oh, not something they would okay. ever save for. Okay. So... I know yeah. I just said that we didn't do anything big, but one of the items is maybe a little bigger than we would normally do on an early night of Hanukkah. Yes. And that would be... A robot. A robot. Oh, this is Judah Maccabot, the Hanukkah <laughs> robot. Yes, yes, Fantastic. Yes. And he... Can he perform? Is that okay? Please. I never knew that this existed, and I need this in my life. I tried to buy you one, and they were already sold out. I'm oh, sure they boom. were. I'll find one. I'll hunt one down. What? Whoa, that's aggressive. He oh. sings. He sings dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. This is amazing, y'all. And he sings. Come on, like y'all. Two more songs. Come on, man, dance for us. <laughs> Harvey probably He's broken. feeling shy. Well, he doesn't like being paraded around. Okay. <laughs> dance robot. <laughs> dance robot, dance. Oh, here we go. Well, oh, I think. Oh, <laughs> There we go. Now he's in there. He just needed a little egg. Oh, and he's gonna... oh, he's stuck. He's stuck. Now he's dancing the horror. Oh, there wow. This is amazing. What? The horror. Listen, this is a toy you didn't know you needed, but you got to get one of these. I don't care if you are Catholic. You need one of these. What is this called again? This is Judah Macbot. <laughs> the Han Judah Macbot. Yes. And so where that comes from is the story of Hanukkah. So oh. here's another thing a lot of people Bust don't it. know. Everyone assumes Hanukkah must be the biggest Jewish holiday. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Easy there, Judah Macbeth. You had your moment. I'm going to put Judah Macbeth away. He's, he's, getting, <laughs> he's getting a little turned up. He's the one that's been drinking the liquor. <laughs> we'll continue, please. So Hanukkah is an important Jewish holiday, but it's not the biggest Jewish holiday. I see. I didn't know that. Tell and, me about it. Well, part of the reason Hanukkah is such a big deal is because of where it falls in the calendar right up against Christmas. So mm. naturally, Hanukkah became a bigger deal because Christmas is such a big deal, especially in this area of the country. Gotcha. But Hanukkah actually isn't one of the top Jewish holidays. It's not one of the holiest days of the year in the Jewish faith. It's a holiday. It's important, but it's not number one. The story of Hanukkah, though, dates, obviously, a long time ago. <laughs> and what it celebrates, it's known as the Festival of Light, and it celebrates when they're trying to rededicate a temple after... It had been desecrated, and it's the Maccabees mm. that are involved in bringing this back after dealing with some violence and some turmoil in the area, and they get to this temple that's been destroyed, and there's only a little bit of oil, only enough to last one night. And the miracle of Hanukkah is that it lasted eight nights. Crazy mm. nights. So the menorah, which is probably the most recognized symbol of Hanukkah, which I brought one here, so I'm trying not to knock it down, each candle celebrates each of those nights, each of those miracles of lasting beyond that one day and lasting the full eight. So Look at that. It's a beautiful holiday. It's fun to celebrate. It gets a lot more notoriety due to its closeness to Christmas, but it's a miracle holiday, and it's something that I think everybody can appreciate and need a little more of in their life. I dig it. I'm into it. Great story. First of all, I love having stuff. And this is a cool thing to have. Cool. And I like that it's spread out over some nights. I got to be honest with you. I get a little disappointed. Christmas comes and then it goes, you know? Too bad like you don't have something like the elf on the shelf, though. <sighs> Please. Please, <laughs> Jews come prepared. Allow me to introduce the mensch on a bench. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. If you're really looking. Sure. The mensch on a bench. Oh, look at that. Look at that, y'all. <laughs> He's the best. So a mensch is a Yiddish word for a good guy, a jovial character. You're a mensch. <laughs> You're a mensch. See, I get it. <laughs> this is beautiful, guys. I get it. So we actually have two in my household. This one's a little dirty, dusty. A little, a little, a little dusty. We can take him out. He would Ooh. like to come out to play. Let's do it. Oh, yes, please. He needs to watch us. So what is he, what is he watching to make sure you're doing? That you're good for all your presents you had every day? Just making sure that people are treating one another with respect and kindness, which is what makes somebody a mensch, is how they treat others in a positive manner. So he's just out there looking out for us all and 
reminding people to be a mitch. People. Does it work with mitch. your children? Are they good? Uh, mm. My well, children are. They have their moments. <laughs> Well, thank you for talking about Hanukkah. Anything coming up that we should know about? Do you guys have any big, like, certain nights that are, or anything's happening at the temple? This year, I'm not sure what the plan is. Things are still a little restricted due to COVID. We have a very old congregation in this area, and so we've been very cognizant of making sure that anything done in person is extra safe. So I'm not sure what the plan is right now for Hanukkah. As far as whether they're going to have the party that Alana would have attended when we were little kids. Yes. Uh, there was a menorah lighting on Sunday evening at the Sioux Empire Mall. The mayor was there, and that was a big event. Nice. The uh, Chabad, which is one of the synagogues here in the Sioux Falls area, they're actually traveling across the state this week, visiting different locations and doing a menorah lighting in different cities and towns. Mm-hmm. I think they were in Aberdeen. Maybe last night they're headed out to Rapid. They also Sweet. do a menorah lighting at Mount Rushmore. So there's a few events here and there. Awesome. I love it. Well, thank you so much, Raleigh. <laughs> Young oh, Lawyer see, of the Year. I have a present for you both. What? Oh, wait, snaps. Presents. I'm all about it. Can I tell <laughs> one second story? Oh, my God. Yeah, yes. bust it. So Alana and I have been best friends since we were five years old. And so we've celebrated all holidays together. And Alana is actually the person who created Chrismica. Yes. It is the fusion of the two great holidays of the winter months. Brandon. <laughs> and <Watch out. laughs> years later, after Alana developed Chrismica and we honed it to the science that it now is, the television show The OC came out and thought they created Chrismica. Right. Lies. Lies. It was Alana. So in honor of Chrismica, and your lovely host and my dearest friend, I have brought you both Christmaca stockings. Oh, Shut sure. up. Let's go. Oh. Yes. Oh my god. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Where are they hang them, darling. Christmaca. <laughs> it's a thing. I'm gonna get a fireplace. <laughs> give me the. Give me the credit. Well, thank Just you so, I can so hang much. This you are so welcome. Thank you for having me. Oh my gosh. I Six love five it. shows for the people. Chris like McCuff. The, the giving vibes of the holiday Does season. Do you want to keep you company? He should probably Yeah, let's keep him up here. Yeah, let's keep him up here. Can he be my booze? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I, like I said, I don't want to step in it. But look, there you go. Uh, we'll put him right here by the booze. Well, thank you We're again, keep Raleigh. The here. We have a next guest coming up. Um, the mayor of Fallsville, would you say? Ryan McCarthy? Are you, sure. are you the, the mayor? mayor of Fallsville? I will be the mayor. <laughs> I am the mayor. Come on and have a seat. Let me bring my friend. Yeah, he's a, he's fed well. There's a lot of who's around here. A lot of who's. There's also a lot of Grinchy things happening. A lot of Grinchy things happening because if you're going to, ha- oh, <laughs> hello. Listen, if you're going to have <laughs> okay. Christmas, there's always going to be a Grinch. I don't trust or trust him. Well, you can't trust a Grinch. Oh, my gosh. What, why is there a Grinch? What's going on here? We have a charity event coming up on December the 9th called Grouchmas. Oh. It will benefit 10 local charities here in town. Um, those individ- those charities, we're raising items for them at various locations throughout Sioux Falls. And all those items will come here to the convention center on December 9th and be auctioned off. Oh, awesome. So not only do the charities benefit from the items people are donating, but they will also benefit from those items being auctioned off. So awesome. They get the money and the goods. I like and it. And then the person that wins will also get a, a gift as well. Look and we're going to take this guy's heart and blow it up three times big. Oh, I, I thought that was going to different. Yeah, I was about to there. say that. Yeah, I thought he was going at me. I was like, not sure what I did. And here. then we're going to kill the Grinch at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't Massive. know what I did, but. Uh, now, this is cool, though, because it's different than like a normal, you know, come and give some stuff. It, it is. like it has some different dimensions. Why did you want to do something a little bit different? Yeah, we, you know, came up with this concept in 2020. And obviously, with everything that happened, we put it aside and came back uh, this year with it. We wanted to do something different. We wanted to take that traditional charity model and kind of turn it upside down. And yeah. See, we didn't out. want people to come and just sit down at a table <laughs> and give money away. We yeah, want people to be engaging. We have these amazing houses that are sponsored. There'll be 10 of them throughout the room. There'll be games. We want people to walk around, be merry, have fun, engage with people throughout the community. And it's benefiting these 10 amazing charities. 
So it's the perfect time. Today is Giving Tuesday, so why not give back today? It is. Sign up, get registered, buy some tickets, and come support a good cause. Yeah, cut a check, y'all. Yeah, where uh, they go to Hey, sign Grinch, up? have you given some money? Of course he hasn't. Yeah, he's a Grinch. I get it. <laughs> uh, where do you sign up for this? Yeah, you can go to DennySanfordPremierCenter.com and look for the Grinch. Or the <laughs> <laughs> Look for the Grouchmas sign. Um, our banners are on there. You can register there. It's fifty-five dollars for individuals, five hundred and fifty for groups of ten. Yes. Um, it's peanuts. It's peanuts. Spend the I money, mean, people. Yeah. Listen, Grouchmas. It's a whimsical, a whimsical night. Thursday, December 9th. It is going down Sioux Falls Convention Center, starting at six six thirty. The other thing is with this event, we are doing it again on Friday the tenth. And we're oh. inviting daycares and preschools to come out and experience Fallsville as well. All right, I'm gonna so, skip that night. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't mess with kids like that. But. Yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're we have a, we've already scheduled that out. We've gotten the list, um, you know, and we've got kids coming in to do arts and crafts Love and it. walk through Fallsville and get a snack and then have, have this guy talk to him a little bit with a book reading. <laughs> Yeah, he's be careful. Watch your booze. Hydrate. I saw you. Right. I know. I saw him. Hide the bottles. I saw him eyeballing my booze. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's uh, oh, wow. Ooh, there's a lot going on there. It's tingly. <laughs> okay. What else has been going on besides this? <laughs> like, what concerts are coming up? Are yeah, people so, booking a bunch I of mean, events? We back. We have so many things happening here at the Premier Center. It is back to pre-COVID days. Yeah, let's We just go. went on sale with Morgan Wallen, practically sold out in a day. Um, we've got six, five new announcements coming in the next three weeks. Yeah, can we get shows a little... Coming. Uh, so so what, what is it? Can we get a little... Well, there's little a little bit of... Um, country. Uh, well, a little bit of rock and roll. Obviously some country. We do have some hard rock mm-hmm. coming in. Hard rock. You said hard rock. Hard rock. Hard, 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 hard rock. Hard rock. Um, All right. Okay. We've got some family events coming in. Okay. So, I mean, we've got a little bit of variety for everybody. So stay tuned for those announcements over the next few weeks and, you know, come out and support. It's back to normal. I I can't believe you're bringing Adele. I mean, she just (laughs) announced her residency in Vegas. I mean, January through April at Caesars. I can't believe I'm promoting that. Hey, Grinch, would you go to Adele with me? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> I don't know. That that, yes? I, I, I'm getting mixed signals. I'm getting mixed signals. It feels like it. But listen, I'm, we are excited, you know, because get people back in here seeing live music, live shows, people in it together, full go, full production, the whole slammer jamma. We're back. And the we, event center's been back. really busy too. Yeah, so, yeah. The event center part too. Are people booking a lot of events? And yeah, I mean, the convention center side hasn't slowed down one bit. I mean, Christmas parties are back. Conventions, oh, conventions are coming back. I mean, it is full on. We're yeah. we just cannot slow down, which is great. It's nice to see. You're the Grinch. It's nice to see events coming back to Sioux Falls and live <laughs> entertainment's back. It's back indeed. Yo, by the way, the Grinch is looking diesel, man. Has the Grinch been lifting at the fitness first? <laughs> look at that. Look at the muscles. He's on been there. painting a lot too. He really man. has. Been. So uh, felt. anything else that people should know that's coming up? I mean, besides everything. Because <laughs> you guys have a lot going Just on. Just follow the experience. Follow right. us, yeah. you know, on our socials, Premier Center, Facebook, Instagram. You know, sign up for our newsletters. Perfect. Be the first to know to get all the information. To get the scoop. Get the Y'all scoop. see it down at the bottom of the screen. Get in there. Understand what's going on. Magic is happening. And I can't believe here. Brian Bieber. Wait, Brian Bieber? <laughs> Justin hey, thanks. Bieber. <laughs> Justin. What are you doing right now? We talk about, we used to be the producer. I forgot. What are you doing right now? She's uh right, 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 right. Yeah. Now we're just she stuck with Dan. She's, she's a little too. <laughs> well, thanks for coming. Well, we're again, uh, Grouch Miss a Whimsical Night, Thursday, December 9th, Sioux Falls Convention Center. Get your tickets. Time, 630. Let's blow this guy's heart up. Also going to be on the 10th as well if you want to come through with the kids and all of that jazz, so make sure you come to that as well. Grinch, watch out. He's going to blow your heart up. Blow it up. Blow it up. <laughs> Let's raise a lot of money for all these charities. Perfect. Boom, let's make it happen. Thank you so much for joining Thanks, us. Guys, appreciate I appreciate you. it. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. My gosh. Very good. I just feel like with the holidays, I'm yeah. really getting low on self care. Are you? I feel like it. Oh, well, we got to pick you up. Well, could you introduce me to someone? 
Well, I'll tell you what, I happen to know somebody, uh, a Miss Amber Eliason oh, my from gosh. Kalon uh, Spa, Medical Spa. OK, this woman right here is a pro at self-care. So she's going to come and talk to us about what we can do with Alana to pick it back up so she doesn't look so sad. <laughs> I'm joking. My Raise co-host me is up. beautiful. She's a beautiful woman. Thank you. You are beautiful. You're yes. beautiful. Oh, OK, Amber. OK. Amber. Oh, oh, oh. He's beautiful. You're beautiful. OK, everybody's beautiful. Everybody's beautiful. How's it going? So tell me. Where do you work and, and how can you help me with my self-care? You know, um, I can, there's a lot of things we can do for self-care. Well, some of them it. are at Kalon, some of them might be at happy hour after this. Oh, hey. perfect! Um, I like them both! <laughs> um, so I work at Kalon Medical Spa, so that's inside Van Thompson Vision, and it's a full-service medical spa, so we do all sorts of cool self-care services, Botox, filler, lasers, chemical peels, facials, so many fun things. We need to get some of that for the Grinch. I don't know yes. if you noticed, but the Grinch has some pretty yep. heavy wrinkles. I, that's he all needs. I was thinking about while he was dancing. What, would you, like, what would you do to the Grinch? The Grinch has oh, had a stressed life. He, Yeah, he seems to need a full facial assessment um, <laughs> by a professional. I would say he definitely needs Botox, probably some microneedling, a few laser treatments. The um, whole shebang. Yeah, the whole shebang. Probably a facial to just get him in more of a nice, happy, relaxed mood. I'm seems with you. a little, you know. Grouchy, I'm with you. I know, but I feel like he was getting some endorphins though there for a yeah, little bit. Yeah, that's true. With the dancing, <laughs> really? yep. I think it was the booze. Yeah, I think it was. Well, I have some questions to throw your way. All right, hit me with them. So they're always good. She always has good questions. Hey, you know what? Right, Thank I'm ready. You so much, even though I know you're joking. Yes. Um. So I have a thing, a question round called Poor Qua. Oh, okay. Do you have, oh. a, do you have a title? <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Do you get it? Pores? Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Wow. Light bulb. Got it. I want your opinion on the following skin health topics. Okay. Sounds good. I like it. <laughs> That's what my script says. Number oh, one. <laughs> what are some things people don't know medical spas are used for? For example, for example skin conditions like rosacea. Um, yeah, we so we can treat rosacea at um, at Kalon. So it's treated with a BBL laser. So that's a light therapy laser, and it um, can help with pigment imbalancing. So whether that's reds or browns, so reds would be more associated with rosacea, and the laser just balances out those irregularities. Okay, mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. What exactly is a chemical peel? A chemical peel is medical grade acids that are oh God. Um, yep, <laughs> placed on the skin safely and they just kind of help rejuvenate and enhance cell turnover and give you that super healthy, glowy, um, mm. glowy look to your skin. Get that so, glow back. Yep, glowy very, look. very healthy. That's so glow. <laughs> okay. How do you feel about how people have viewed medical spas through the media, like re the Real Housewives? Um, I'll flip. Uh, <laughs> I, I think it's good exposure, um, but some of them, e well, you take a little far? It maybe a tad, yeah. perhaps a, they've gone a little too far, but also like on the coast, that's the way, you know, that's what they want. That's the look in the Midwest. Thankfully, the look is more natural, conservative. You still look like you. But less Lisa Renna. Right. Exactly. <laughs> still be able to move your face would be ideal. Yes. Um, so yeah, I would say for for that, like housewives and celebrities and stuff, a like aggressive. the whole Stifler's mom mm. um, Stifler's thing, mom. you know, like yeah. just very, yeah, overfilled. But good exposure to I mean, the products and services that are available you in know, the industry. What are your top daily skin routines that you recommend to people? Um, gosh, I I guess I would just say do what works for you. So don't like follow a crazy regimen that you saw from an influencer or something like that. Just do what works for your skin and your skin type. And it doesn't have to be 17 products. So just cleanse twice a day, use a toner, exfoliate once or twice a week, moisturize, SPF every day. It can be as simple as that. And of course, there's a lot of other like bougie things. I totally do all of that. <laughs> I like you. to go with melanin because black don't crack. Oh, well, there it is. <laughs> 
I'm gonna look like this forever. I pretty much just you like splash skin. my face. Both of you do. And then and then the other day, like I didn't know that my eye my eye makeup ran down my face. I looked like Alice Cooper, like the Alice Cooper, or whatever. I don't know. Oh, that's such a lot of things. Tell me three things people might not know about getting Botox. Yeah, let's talk about it. Okay. Um, Botox, I feel like because of what we were talking about with the housewives and stuff. I think some people associate that with like you get Botox and you're going to be frozen and that's definitely not the case. So you, it totally depends on the dose and all of that stuff. So I think that's one kind of myth. And then, um, people confuse Botox with filler a lot. Mm. So they think that, you know, that's what gives you like that really full, you know, look to your lips or cheeks or whatever it is, but that's not the same thing. And then, Another thing people kind of don't know about Botox is other, like, more off-label things that you can do with it. So we've had, um, I don't know if people are just super stressed out this holiday season or Mm. what, but people coming in for, like, jaw pain, masseter Mm. pain. So, like, if you wake up with, like, that jaw tension or just kind of... How many is it stressful? Family can get on your nerves. Exactly, (laughs) yeah. So you can use or Botox like to world. relax those muscles yeah. <laughs> and you can use it for um, like underarm sweating to decrease that. You can do a Botox okay. lip flip. I didn't know that. There's lots of like cool, not just forehead line uses for Botox. So Interesting. Mm-hmm. So what do you think about those like influencer girls that are like, hey everyone, people keep asking me about my skincare routine. Welcome back to my channel. Are they really asking you though? Do you think they're really, are they asking you? <laughs> are they? Well, they probably are. Or did they just know you in high school and they just slipped in your DMs and they're like, hey girl. I mean, it's probably a balance of both. I don't know. I I mean, I think if if they know what they're talking about, then that's great. And if they're using medical grade stuff, then that's awesome. But if they're not, then don't listen to them. Are you on a gram? Are you an influencer? Do you, are you, you got a I, gram situation? I have um, an Instagram that's associated with aesthetics. <laughs> it's Amber underscore aesthetics. <laughs> Plug um, it. But yeah, I post some stuff. And Kaylon has an awesome Instagram too, but just about self-care things and diving a little bit more into Botox and chemical peels and things that maybe you don't know about them or seem intimidating or scary. Um, you can just kind of learn a little bit more about them before you so come you got to dip your toes in yeah, it. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I sure. got it. Well, what's going on? Do you guys have any promotions going on for holiday shopping? Yeah, Let's we go. do. We So throughout December, we're going to be cup. doing a lot of giveaways. So super fun um, self-care giveaways. And then right now we are Would you doing, say there's some stocking stuffers? I would say that, <laughs> yeah. Our boutique right now is very stocked with super cool unique stocking stuffer gift ideas whether you're treating yourself or someone else there's a lot of really cool stuff in the boutique area of our spa right now and then um we're doing so we're going to be doing giveaways throughout the whole month of december just to kind of celebrate the holidays um but right now we're doing we're giving away a free halo so Mm. to be entered to win that all you have to do is um bring a board game to kaylon and so that is going to be donated to sioux falls cares love it yep love it it's great What's a halo, actually? <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I'm thinking, I was like, you know, V apparently knows, because I was yeah. like... I once thought there was a saber tooth tighter in Philadelphia. So when you say halo... Yeah, yeah. so yeah. it's, a, it's yeah. an anti-aging laser treatment. It's like there top of the line, okay. very cool, it tightens pores, fine lines. It's just okay. very super healthy okay. for your skin. Okay, so, okay. So we're That's giving nice. away one of those, and all you have to do is bring a board game to Kaylon. To bring a board it. game. It's By simple. the end of next week. By the end of next week. Mm-hmm. It's simple. People do the right thing. Yeah. Support your community. Give back. Don't assume yep. you'll win. Just give back. Just right. give back anyway. And as a bonus, you may right. win a halo, which is not which now, a thing oh, that no. angels wear. <laughs> it's a treatment that does various things. I thought you meant the Super game. Boring. I'm like, interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. With the branding. Right. Yeah. Inter- that would be an interesting. Uh, that yeah. would. <laughs> that would be. But no. I mean. Uh, but anything else we should know or the mensch on the bench should know about what's going yeah. on? Um. Yeah. I mean, I what's think. What's your favorite holiday tradition? Oh, I'm just going to throw that in there. I don't know. Eating. Yes, give it to me. I don't know. <laughs> give it to me. We're done. Good. Present, I like yeah, it. Yeah, present giving kind of stresses me out a little bit. Yes. So I just like, like the hanging out and the talking and the eating. And That's the why people get the tight jaws. Do you like, do you yeah. like the Hallmark right? Christmas movies? I don't. I despise uh, them, actually. They're, I don't like them. I like the a good rom-com, but Hallmark just takes it a little they're too far, worst. I think. They're the worst. Favorite yeah, rom-com, go. Oh, Sweet Home Alabama. 
Mm. Well, she oh, felt right that off then. Of you. I felt How'd that you know you. that right I felt away? That off of you. I because felt I, that I like it. I just, I just love it. Just yeah. First of all, like, uh, is that's Reese Witherspoon, right? Yes. Yeah. She's like in like nine classic rom coms. How does she She's, all of a sudden become the new Oprah? She is uh, the rom com queen. Yes, she is. Okay, Loki. She is. Okay, she's in a lot of those. Mm -hmm. She really is, and she's so rich now. She, she is. is. I love it though. I like her being rich. She's one of my favorite. Rich who was the one? Her what, what's her Dunn. butt? Who's yeah. the girl who like all of a her. sudden like was like, like low key getting so rich, and now she's like everywhere, like Reese Witherspoon, Jessica Alba. Uh, oh, oh yeah. yeah, no, she's yeah. Super she was rich. like everyone's yeah. like, where is she at? Why isn't she acting? She's busy yeah. making a billy. Yeah. Because then she she First of all, this is what we know. Like if whether you're talking about Rihanna, whether you're talking about Reese or any of them. If you want to make a billion dollars, you better get into skincare. Yeah, that's Hello. Yeah. And you guys have a lot of cute shoots you guys do. Yeah. Yep. You we know? do. We do. We try to, because sometimes that's the only way that to know like what the procedure is actually like is to take pictures of it. So right. we try to have some visuals. And you have a lot of products. We do. We have so many good products. Just so check them out online. Yes. 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 Or check just come into Kalon and we'll help you pick out. Some great stuff for Christmas or just for just for yourself. Yeah, just go into Kalon because you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, it, just yeah. go in and you nod when they say halo. Just, we would love to help you. Go talk to an expert. Yep. And not halo. the gram. I recommend it. Halo. Yep. Yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it mm. sounded just like Beyonce mm. there. Thank Very you. Nice job. Thank mm. you. I did order a karaoke machine for Christmas, so you're welcome. Mm, shut it I will down. be stopping by your house. That's you great. will not. Oh my god. You, you need a, you need a uh, key to get on my floor, <laughs> and, <laughs> and you will not be allowed. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, before we go, what's what's one self care thing someone should do for themselves yes. that you recommend? Um, holy moly. Um, I would say come in and get a service. Yeah. Yes. Because and wash your face. You feel, yeah, <laughs> definitely wash your face if you're not already doing that. Why are you mad? There, wash please. your face. Um, but yeah, come in and get a service, whether it's like a relaxing facial or something else that just kind of like boosts your self-confidence and makes you feel good. And I like it. Pop quiz. You come in a happy hour with us. Yeah, duh. Bang! Yeah. It's on. Bam, 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 It's Christmas. Bam, 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 well, thank you so much for coming on. Yes, You're a Mitch. Thank you for we having appreciate you. Really, yes. <laughs> Look uh, at that. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to be using this agnosium this holiday season. Thanks to uh, everyone. Thanks to Raleigh for first off putting up with me for so long. And for the Christmas gift and teaching us all about Hanukkah. No, I really do appreciate this gift. Um, I, I love it. Does it I'm make you less of a Grinch? Yes, it does, actually. <laughs> You know what? I'm a less of a Grinch now because of Chris McCut, and I'm going to be calling people Minch for the next several I'm going to go weeks. to Grouchmas. See you there. December yeah, give 9th? to your community. December 9th. Okay? <laughs> December 9th. Super Bowl's Convention 10th. Center, 6.30. And 10th. The Grinch will be there, hopefully with pants on. You didn't have them on earlier it's for 55 a little bit. A you person. may have put them on. It's $550 for a group of 10. Do the right thing. 55 Give back just for community. you. 55. That's it. That's peanuts. Okay. You spent that on parking <laughs> tickets. This month. Something else. <laughs> what? It's a this is a kid's thing. Come on. No. <laughs> Come on. I've done this before. I've been places. Sorry, I want to still be your mensch. I don't know. <laughs> well, listen, guys, we appreciate Come here. Come Happy, here holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. From the 605 show. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys. See you next time. Do some. I'm still holding it. <laughs>